Hi there, welcome to Canada in Studio. On this episode, we're gonna be talking about drinking bottles. And yes, there's lots of things to talk about in terms of drinking bottles. Not only that it should hold the water and fit to your bottle cage. Uh, we can be really talking for hours about it, but let's try to keep it very, very simple. So here are three things you should know before you buy one for you. First, what is the bottle made of? So what, what kind of plastic was used to produce your bottle? Second, how practical it is before you ride, before you ride while you're preparing your, your um, drink. And third, how practical uh, it is while you're riding. Super important and cool features I'm gonna uh, show you uh, on this, uh, these bottles here. Now we have um, three different bottles really because this is same model, this is uh, Elite uh, Corsa. Uh, this one is Camelback Podium Chill and this one is some uh, older Gatorade. I paid like $150 for this one, $5, around $5 for each of these. So $150, $5, $10. Is it really worth it to pay so much for just a bowl, right? Uh, well, we'll see. So let's start with the first uh, thing the type of plastic used uh, for your bottles. Um, on any plastic that we are using, we can find always some symbols uh, with a number in some tr triangle uh, made of um, arrows and some number. We've got number one here. Uh, we've got number four um, just here on the bottom of this bottle. Number four and same number four on these bottles here, number four in the triangle, and here on the bottom we have number five. So let's try to put it very, very simple. Number five, the most safe plastic, uh, probably doesn't have impact on our body, on our hormones especially, um, the most expensive one. Number four means uh, it's kind of safe, it, it can be reused, so I'm gonna be using those bottles for months uh, probably uh, and it is okay for our health but still not as safe as number five. This is why number five is also used, the PP or poly polypropylene plastic for toys, for little children which are mm -mm, chewing uh, those, right? So number five, uh, very important. Then number one you could see here, it's just only on this uh, etiquette you could probably find also number one on the mineral water that you buy in the plastic bottle and that means you don't reuse this one you simply you drink the water and you recycle that bottle you don't um, put the water uh, inside that bottle once again or store or keep uh, the water inside because it can have impact on your water then uh, your water then and your body so um, uh, some people say it's just the marketing game, number five, number, number four. Uh, number four is the low density polyethylene and number two would be safer uh, high density polyethylene. But here we have a low density but still uh, made for, uh, to, to be reused. Um, another thing is that on these, not on this cheapest one, but on these bottles here, we can find some information BPA free, so no bisphenol here. And of course, same on this one, uh, BPA free. Once more, some people say it's a marketing game and instead of uh, bisphenol, uh, those manufacturers would put some other chemicals that can also be harmful for our health. But I, as Canon Denny, I want to make my own decision according to the knowledge I have access to. That's why I'm buying only five uh, and four and bisphenol free uh, bottles. Uh, this one has none of these uh, features. If it was only a marketing game, if I was to sell the uh, cheapest uh, bottles, I would also put like uh, bisphenol free or number five polypropylene plastic. But it is just not that cheap. It is more expensive to produce these bottles. So as I understand, I want to be uh, healthy and if I can, if I have a choice and it's a matter of like 150 or five dollars, I will pay five dollars. So that was the first thing, safety. The second thing, uh, if you haven't been using bottle, uh, bottle drinking bottles uh, so much so far, you would probably you you wouldn't probably notice uh, when buying bottles what's important for you. 
uh, and I'm gonna tell you that right now. How practical it is while you are preparing your uh, drink. Now, the first one is how big hole you've got here. Uh, on quite a few um, cheap um, bottles, it would be very, very hollow, uh, very, uh, very small. And then when you are going to put some powder like isotonic drink or recovery drink or anything inside your bottle, you will see that it comes everywhere but not into the bottle and it's very irritating. You are just, you know, losing your precious powder. So that is something that you, you, you're gonna really think about. This one isn't really bad, but if you look at, at our uh, Camelback podium, you will see it's larger and the larger the better as you can see my whole spoon fits to the to this um, hole here so uh, it's it's very very helpful another thing is also how practical it is while you are cleaning your uh, your bowl and there is no special features here it is quite okay to clean this one you can really um, get access you have access to to the inside of the bottle it will be more difficult here and because uh, this nozzle is made of cheap plastic it's not like a rubber here but a cheap plastic your teeth uh, will just leave some marks uh, on on this uh, nozzle and then some dirt will just stay there and it's very difficult to get rid of it uh, it's not the only issue of aesthetics, but uh, it will it will start to to stink after some sometimes not very very long time. On this one, uh, the most expensive bottle, we have some very very cool feature. Uh, you can see on the etiquette here, uh, removable nozzle. That's the last uh, feature, and that means that this uh, rubber nozzle we have on our bottle we can simply remove it or just take it off completely okay i'm gonna show you right like this and you have access to the inside of the nozzle outside of the nozzle and you take off your cap here and you have a like almost full access there so if you're using some brush here it will be super clean it will stay clean for months now I've noticed on this um, bottle, but it just has to be like this, that it can be quite tricky and it, 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 it needs, it requires some force to put it back there, but it's not the problem for me. Okay, it's back now. And the nozzle is um, there. So it is also a cool feature. Uh, that's why preparing your drinks with some spoons and cleaning your bottle is very important. On this Elite Corsa, we have also sign allowing us to use uh, to use uh, the washing machine. There is uh, no information about washing machine here. They don't tell you you cannot uh, use it in the washing machine, but uh, I wouldn't, and I will tell you why just uh, in a second. So, how safe it is, how practical before ride your bottle uh, is, and third, how practical during the ride is uh, your your bottle is. Let's talk about it um, right now to, uh, to show you all the features uh, on the drinking bottles. First off, uh, the cup. On the cheapest one here we have such cup, it's just okay, but the nozzle isn't very practical. As I said, it can get really, really dirty with all those teeth marks. But also, we should remember that we are operating uh, our bottle with just one hand. Of course, for those riders who just don't care, they can stop and wonder how beautiful, uh, you know, surroundings are. And then they, you can have any different system with, with some opening caps and then you drink, it's okay. But if you're a trail biker, cross country races, racing, that's for sure. You have to be using your bottle very, very uh, quickly with just one hand. So I'm taking my, my bottle, I'm, opening the, the valve with my teeth and sometimes I would like to lock it back with my teeth or with my finger while I'm putting it back to the bottle cage. Now what's important here? This is uh, hard and cheap plastic and you can also 
hurt sometimes your tongue uh, on this valve. If some of you had been using these um, uh, cheap um, bottles, then you know what I'm talking about. Here on the $5 bottle cages, we have super nice nozzle. It's, it's rubber, right? <laughs> so it's very nice. As you can see, it's quite soft. So very nice to hold it in your mouth, actually, because uh, you're gonna be doing it, like open it, you can lock it, or you can lock it with your finger if the finger is really super dirty uh, during your ride. So that's a very important thing. Uh, but the best features in terms of, uh, of drinking are once again on this um, uh, Camelback. Why? First off, we have a very smart valve here. You can see how it works. All right, so I have some, some uh, water there in the bottle and it's just open. There is no chance of losing any of your uh, drinks uh, if have putting it upside down or having it somewhere in your, in your car before ride or, or whatever. No chance because the valve is really, really sealed. Now, if I'm pushing it, now I can drink. And that's super cool feature, but that's not all. We have another valve here, like lock. We can lock it completely, so that maybe especially uh, if we put it in our bags while we are um, traveling or going for some races, then even in the back, it won't, it won't spill the water or the drink uh, around your car or anywhere. So that's cool feature. For myself, the valve is uh, just, uh, good enough i'm never using this uh, this lock here because the valve is super awesome i like it uh, so much it's it's very very good another thing is also that especially on cross country races we have so little time uh, to drink uh, we have we have to be capable of just you know grasping your uh, your ball and not really slipping it off uh, our hands uh, this chip bottle has only some kind of uh, like something around here which is which is not really grippy uh, these um, elite corsa uh, bottles have some super nice cup here so that if i'm grasping my uh, my uh, ball it can be dirty it can be uh, wet not no matter i will always take it of my bottle cage that's very good uh, here on this one this one isn't made for racing in my opinion but it has some nice shaping here so that we can also um, just just take it off uh, our bottle cage and be happy with it uh, so that's really 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 co cool another thing is on these um, elite Corsa bottles this one is completely clear so you can see how much water or drink you have inside and you have the scale here Helping, helping you to prepare the isotonic uh, drink or recovery or anything. This one isn't clear. I bought it because it's, it's black and green. It fits to my to my cat ten and not only to my colors. But still, there is some nice clear line here with the scale, so we can see also how much of the drink we have here, and it's helpful for preparing. And the last feature, very cool one on this one. Um, Camelback Podium is that it's insulated, so it has a layer there inside that will allow for keeping a cool drink on the hot days and a warm drink on the uh, cold days. It is super cool. It's maybe not the bottle made for like some traveling to, to the big mountains in the cold and freeze but if it's just cold outside you can keep some warm drink here if it's super um, super hot you would put maybe something something cooler maybe sometimes with some ice in it i'm gonna be testing it uh, just to try how how long would, would would this hold the temperature i'd like to have here but as you can see now, uh, the nice bottles, the high quality bottles will be safer for us, will be much more practical, easier to use. And the most importantly, importantly for those who are racing, if you don't have a bottle that will allow you for like very, very quick uh, drink, you will not drink as much as you need. 
and that will diminish your performance on the ride. So that's also a very, very important thing. So is it worth it to, to pay more for the bottles? In my opinion, it's, it definitely is. You can now make your own choice uh, having the knowledge I just shared, shared with you. I hope it was helpful. If you have any further suggestions on the bottle cages or some questions, put them below in the comment sections. And I'm waiting for you there. We will see you very, very soon, probably today or uh, tomorrow in another episode. So stay tuned. Bye bye.